So you can see the material is actually still there. We got a VideoJet 6420 four inch 107 millimeter printer here. This is for all you guys out there still rocking the pneumatic style printers. Um, we're gonna go ahead and go through this repair. You can see what we found and how we can fix these things. Got the unit on our stand. Let's go ahead and test this. Well. First thing I notice is our mandrel's not even on. That'd give us some issues. So it looks like, yeah, the friction cone completely sheared. So you can see the material is actually still there. And this is what it should look like. <clears throat> so I went ahead and just replaced the mandrel assembly. Um, I. I couldn't get uh, a new friction cone in this shaft, so I think something's wrong with it. So we've got the unit up on the stand. We've calibrated. We're at this pro We're at the point to print, and I've got a foot pedal over here. I can hear. The air pressure coming out um, of the solenoid, but nothing's happening to the printhead. So either short stroke isn't getting the air, um, or the solenoid, which most likely means the solenoid's not opening that valve all the way. Uh, hold on, one other thing, guys. We just got our favorite air of all printhead carriage position air when we went from online mode to offline mode. So I'm going to calibrate again and see if we get it again. Well, let's see how that goes. All right, so now I'm just toggling between offline and online. Um, sometimes it's just as simple as the homing block can be causing this on this old machine. Um, sometimes it's the timing belt. Sometimes it is the linear slide. If that's all bunched up, that'll be bad. Uh, and even the, the pivot assembly too. Oh, we got it again. So I don't know. Maybe that was 10 times of um, running back and forth between offline and online. So the carriage has failed. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to turn the power off because I want to see where it failed at. Now, we know it was failing as it came back towards its home position. I want to see if it got into the home position or did not. Well, let's dig into it. We'll be on the move here for a second. But what we're going to be looking at is this homing block. And specifically right here. You see some of that plastic is starting to get chewed away. Let's see if I can flip it outside. I don't like the sign of that uh, plastic on the homing block being chewn up like that. Um, it signals that obviously something's hitting that and rubbing against it there. So is the problem that that's there now and it's preventing or giving a, is the problem that it's there now or if the pivot was causing that problem? I'm not sure yet. The first step is I'm gonna go ahead and just replace that homing block because that's the easiest thing to do right now and I wanna see if that air goes away. I'm also gonna replace the solenoid valve at the same time while I have this unit off. I'd don't know if you can see it, but looks like there's oil all over this solenoid valve. So something happened to this valve. I don't know if water got in the airlines or what, but uh, let's replace it. I don't see any water in the line, but we're going to go ahead and replace the lines too. We've got our new homing block, we've got our new solenoid, and we got a new airline. I want to test one feature at a time. It just calibrated great. I'm going to turn this online, and I want to go ahead and test the print. Make sure the solenoid is what was causing us a problem. Right away we get print. And we get a good looking print. So our print head's good, print head cable's good, PCB is good, even though we're rocking 88 million imprints. I'm gonna cycle test this some more. 
I'll turn it off a few times, let it recalibrate, because during the calibration process, it also does this homing. So we'll do that a few times, and then we'll just get a see if we can get this to happen again. But I'm pretty confident that the mandrel, the solenoid valve, and the homing block was the cause of all this customer's pain. Now is a perfect time to tell you about TTOparts.com, your one-stop solution for all your industrial printer needs. Are you in need of high-quality parts for your VideoJet 6530, Lynx TT1000, or Markham X-Series printers? Look no further. At TTOparts.com, we offer a wide range of OEM parts to keep your printers running at peak performance. Our customers trust us for top-notch quality and excellent service. Experience the difference with TTO Parts. Whether it's a replacement part or a whole printer you need, we've got you covered. Visit ttoparts.com now and find the parts you need to keep your business printing smoothly. Don't compromise on quality. Choose ttoparts.com. TTO Parts, precision, performance, and perfection. Order now and elevate your printing game.